the 2022 Chatham Retrofest. Wow, what a show! Our thanks to historic downtown Chatham BIA organizer Connie for the great job that she did. Also thanks to sponsors and all others who had a hand in making this great show possible. This is going to be a long video, perhaps 40 minutes, maybe more. I doubt very few will be willing to stay along with it, but I wanted to get in as many cars as possible. Still, I couldn't get all cars into this video, there were just too many. So here's a look at the 2022 Downtown Chatham Retrofest. I hope you enjoy. Gene was here with his 55 Pontiac. So was Dan with his Mustang. And Joe with his 1960 Monarch. These track cars are not designed for highway cruising, but they do get around the track pretty quick. The emphasis is on lightness, safety, and speed. And, of course, skillful driving.
This was a day for walking around and meeting new folks and seeing old friends. Smiles and waves from everyone. It was a good day to be walking around downtown Chatham, everyone in a great mood. And why not on a day like this? Downtown Chatham really is a people place. Here's a small rock fountain we found along the way. As mentioned, this is going to be a long video, but I wanted to show off each car individually rather than tearing through at breakneck speed. Even though this video is probably over 40 minutes long, it would be impossible to see the show in that length of time. Cars, cars, and more cars, all at Retrofest. Retrofest is a show that attracts thousands of people every year. Sometimes it's hard to see the cars for the number of people. If you were here, I know you enjoyed this great day. If not, well, there's always next year. You know, I've said it before, car people are the best people. And when car people get together, it's always a great time. There was lots of fun over in Tecumseh Park just across the footbridge as well. But this video concentrates on cars. I hope you're enjoying this.
Here is Ed's pickup. Wayne's 55 Chevy. And Woody's 55 Chevy. The Three Amigos. I don't know who owns this, but it's a cool looking car. What a nice looking Jag. You know if you're tired of looking at this, you can always stop it and come back to this spot another day. Here is a rare 56 Continental, not a Lincoln, but a Continental. It's been in the family since new. What a nice looking 64 Chevy. And a 57 Ford. You know in 57 Ford sold more new cars than Chevy, a rare moment. Here's Bo's pickup truck with a high horsepower engine. It's won a lot of awards. What a really nice looking Jag. I think it's about a 1960. And a sweet looking Charger.
Now a few Sandy Elliott dry cars well preserved. Sandy who passed away in 2015 is well remembered. This is a somewhat scarce 1954 Lincoln hardtop owned by Jack. I had a chance to talk with him. It's the stories that I love the most. When I was in my 20s, my dad was a service manager and a Mercury Lincoln dealer. And a chap traded in a car exactly like this, and he fixed it up and I drove that car for a number of years. We sold it. I always wondered what happened to it. I managed to track down the buyer and the buyer and the buyer, but I'm pretty convinced it had been scrapped. But at that point, I had put an ad in Old Autos looking for my car, but any, I got a call from a chap who had a 54 Lincoln for sale and I had to buy it. And uh, the interesting part of this whole thing is that the car that I had, I had a service manual and a parts manual in the car and they stayed in the car and the buyer that I tracked down the third buyer had kept those books and I have those books now and in those books uh, there's some of my own writing and my dad's writing when he restored the car for me so it's a real nostalgia trip for me for a lot of classic car owners memories play an important part in the cars that they choose to own Here is Mark's 55 Chevy Handyman Wagon. This was in pretty bad shape when he got it, but look at it now.
What a good looking 57 caddy. Here's another caddy. This one is a 58. And the cars just keep on coming. Andy was here with his DeSoto, and Gino brought along his beautiful 55 Chevy. There's Nick and Lucy out enjoying the day. They brought along their beautiful 59 Caddy.
paint? Who needs paint? These cars are still driven and enjoyed. looking Studebaker champion. Say hello to Bob. He has quite a story to tell. Well, it's it's a 54 uh, champion badges, but it's got a commander engine in it, which is a V8 Studebaker engine. Uh, and it's regal trim, so it was a top of the line trim. Yeah. And what about the engine? A 289? A 289, yes. And what I did is I put a T5 five-speed five transmission in it. So it, it's, it's really good on the highway. Nice car, Bob. Thank you for showing it off. Just look at all the folks out enjoying this wonderful day and all these beautiful cars at Retrofest. There's Bob and Jan. Thanks for the water, guys, and a place to sit down in the shade. This was a warm day, 
with a lot of folks out walking to see these beautiful cars. That looks like Dan Steeper. It's always kept in great condition. Do a little dance, have a little fun. What a beautiful 55 Chevy convertible. Here is a closer look. I'm not sure, but this could be a 51 Chevy. In any case, it's well customized.
Ice Waterfall Grill. Here's another shot of Mark's 55 Chevy Handyman Wagon. It looks great inside and out. There's a cool looking 34 Ford. This really has been a great day at the downtown Chatham Retrofest. So many came out to enjoy. I'll leave the final word to these good folks. We, we love, love Retrofest! Thanks for viewing. And as always, we'll see you at the car shows and cruise nights.